Hello everyone, today we are checking out Gearblocks, uh, physics and engineering fun for the entire family apparently. So we're gonna jump right into it. Who do I want to be? Gary it is. <laughs> easy, easy enough. Alright, here we go. We're, list we're gonna start with the t tutorial since I have no idea what I'm doing. Wise to move, left shift to walk and run, space to jump, V to change. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, walk up close to the wheel. Use R key to turn it. R. R. Cool. Uh, let's explore mechanisms. Aim the crosshair at a hand wheel and press E to activate it. Oh! Oh, okay. Okay, R and F. Okay, that's easy enough. Okay, so E and then R and F. Everybody get it? We got it. Understood. Alright, let's try activating another type of heart behavior. Target the light and press E to activate it. Okay. The robot has some parts behaviors that need to be activated. Rather than activate each part, you can activate all of them. Shift and Q. Toggle off. Toggle on. Oh, look at that. <laughs> nice. Structure can be moved or modified with the builder tool. It needs to be frozen. Okay, so we gotta freeze the weight. Uh, uh, you gotta hold that. Okay, freeze it. Now press one. To oh, okay. Frozen parts are outlined in blue. Parts can be selected individually. Right now, we just want to move the whole thing. Left control and A. Left click the mouse button anywhere on the weight to select one. Okay. Click and drag. Okay, okay. Con left control F. There's a, there's a lot of buttons. Uh, now we're gonna use the builder tool to rotate the trolley, place it on the ramp. We gotta freeze it first. So target any part. Freeze. Control F. Okay. Wait a second. Okay. Oh, T switches to rotation. This is a lot of keys. Drag him right there. Control F. Wait. Is he supposed to move? That was supposed to go down there, right? Ah, there it goes. Now we're going to use the builder tool to attach a missing hand wheel part. Uh, target box construction, press Control F. So it gets all frozen. Okay. Now we need to do this. Switch to rotating. Rotate it. Okay. Move it back into place. Nailed it. Attach it. Uh. I did. Okay, so... Oh, target anywhere away from it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now you can unfreeze the whole box. All right. Oh, wait. We have to assign forward and reverse keys. Okay. So left shift and E. Forward key. Do R and F. Like everything else is... Like they've been doing it. Oh, boy. 
This construction needs fixing before it'll work. Gear is in the wrong place. And a locking strap will have to be removed. Uh, to get started, freeze it. Okay. The orange spur gear is attached at the wrong place. It's not engaged with the other gears. Okay. Oh, wait, so it needs to slide on further. Left click the mouse button on the orange gear. And then I can just go like this, right? Oh, look at this. Is that it? That's it. Okay. Uh, you could click off the construction to deselect all, but another way is to target the gear and do that. Okay. You've accidentally selected... Oh, I, I want the box parts. Is that right? Okay. All three straps. Okay. Move that away from this thing. Got it. Now we can unfreeze. Oh. Okay. It says I can use the R and the F. Yes. I sure can. There's a lot of keys. There's a lot of different binds. Relocate the orange counterweight so it slides down the vertical axles. Freeze everything. Okay. Detach counterweight from the rest of the construction. Oh, it's selecting these specific points. Okay, so left shift and right mouse button deletes an attachment. Oh, okay. That's an attachment point. Right. Uh, left click mouse button on that beam. Okay, now we gotta rotate it. Oh, I see what it's doing. It's gonna have me turn this thing like that. But they align the beam with the top of the axles. Is it T? How do I get to? There we go. R. Okay. Did I do that right? It's off one. I think I'm off one. There we go. Attach it. Deselect the pivot point. Okay. Target one of the attachments. E twice to change the desired type. Oh, okay. It's... We want it to be... an up and down like that. Is that right? There we go. Once you unfreeze it, the counterweight should fall. Boom! This time we're using a linear actuator to move the mechanism. First we need to resize and attach a missing beam part. Okay. So... Um, okay. So... We gotta freeze the box first before we can work with it. Okay. Okay, now I can take this and if I go like this, switch to resize. Oh, okay. So, okay. Just like that. Drag it to be 13 units long. Attach the beam. Deselect uh, a pivot point target anywhere away from it. Doom. Okay. Wait a second, though. Is that... Is that right? Okay. Change the attachment types to rotating. So... I did that by doing... Wait a second. I did that by doing... E? Yes. Okay. Okay. 
Hold on, one of the attachments is not free to move. When we attach the orange beam, a fixed attachment was created between it and the upright wooden beam. Oh, this right here. Left shift and right button to delete it. Okay, so now there's no attachments on it besides those two. Okay, target the linear actuator. Okay, over key, R and F. Okay. R. Oh, wait, is F not working? That's weird. F is not working. Oh, I didn't. I did two forward keys. Um, there. Wait. All right. Let's let's just make sure it goes back down, just because. Uh, oh. R F. There it is. Now we're going to use the linear actuator again. We're going to need to connect things together with some beams first. Freeze it. There are no parts, so let's create a new one. Hold Q to open the builder tool. Sloped beam. Okay. Beam doesn't have correct size, so we have to resize it. Y is resize. 7 by 3. Oh, wait a second. How did... There we go. 7 by 3. Nailed it! Okay. Wait. Okay. Okay, so how do we do the... Oh! Okay, attach the beam now. Click away from it. No. Let's spawn another slope beam. We could use a builder tool, but... We'd have to resize the part. There's a quicker way. Target the one beam. Oh my word. Left alt, left mouse button. Oh, I have it. Oh, okay. Okay. Nailed it. <laughs> Change all these attachment types to rotary. Okay. That's E. That's easy enough. Okay. A rotary one. Um, check other attachments. Okay. Target and delete that one. Ah, got it. Okay. This is a lot to remember. All right, so R and F, are they set up? They are. Number eight? Number eight. Some parts are missing, they're in the wrong place, or the wrong size. Let's freeze it. Okay. Target each of the gears, left shift, right mouse button to delete them. Each of the gears, huh? Wait, left shift and right mouse, okay. That's a delete, okay. Actually, we need one of those gears, let's get it back. Hold Q, gears, okay. Spawn the 40 tooth. Okay. Align it. Okay, and then... Um, okay, it's aligning with the worm gear. Okay. Right there. Okay. Do I need to change this too? Is it? I can't tell if it's a line or not. I think it is. Right? Okay. Uh, Alright, let's take a look at the two hole and axle part on the left. We need the beams to link together. It's the wrong length. Resize it with Y. I, I at least remember that, right? Oh, 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 no, no, no. Ah, now I've done it. So it needs to be seven units long. Let's just make it seven. And then we'll move it into place. Reattach. 
Okay. Probably gonna need to be the Oh, let's duplicate it. Left alt, left mouse. Okay. Link the beam in the door. I have to set these as rotating. Change them all to rotate. Okay. Okay. Why is that one? Oh, I put this on the other side? Oh, I see. It's on the... Okay. Okay. Unfreeze. Okay. RNF keys turn it. Which is apparently doing on its own. I'm... There we go. <laughs> it's like, why is it not doing it? Okay. Nailed it. Part 9. Let's... Now we're getting the linker tool. Link pulleys together. We have to attach them first. Freeze the construction. The orange spur gears aren't going to work. They're too far apart to engage with each other. Okay. We can use pulleys and a belt instead, but we need to, to delete the gears. That's alt and... Right click. No, I know. Left shift and right. Okay. I'm figuring this all out, kind of. Okay, so pulleys. We need the pulley X2. Okay. So, we're gonna have to rotate it right. Yeah, this. Okay. You, I think you just have to get it close and it snaps. Not really close, is it? Um. Wait a second. Wait a minute. What's wrong with you here, buddy? There we go. Okay. Now we need a four. Okay. Can I just... Will it snap if I just move it? I just want to see. Uh, no. It really needs to be rotated. Good to know. We can get it. Let's see how close... I mean... Or, you know, if it can be a little ways off. It can. Okay, so... There's that. Attach this pulley to the same axle, the small eight tooth. Okay, yep, that's right, okay. Press three to activate our linker tool. Drag from one pulley to the other. See if it works, unfreeze. Oh, uh, turn the hand wheel with R and F. Uh, Yes. Or 10. We're going to use the skill so far to make a linkage. Connect it to the servo motor. Freeze the box. Spawn a small servo. Okay. Wait. Did I not do that? Okay. It's going to connect... Oh, right up here, but it's got to be rotated for sure. So, kind of like that. Okay. Alright, now we need to make a linkage that connects the servo motor axle to the box door. So, from here... Oh, wait a second. I got to go on the back side of this because this needs to go there. An axle. We need this guy. Okay. Um, so let's rotate that. Okay. Move it into place. Okay. But that's kind of the wrong one. There we go. Okay. So... This is going to be free moving.
Um, oh, wait, I don't want to delete that yet. Let's not do that. Right? Because it'll just fall off. Or, well, no, I mean, it's frozen. That's all right. I'll find out some other time. Axel, this thing's ridiculous long. Um, I actually don't think it needs to be that long. I think, let, let's resize this. Hold on. Let's resize this. like that okay and then this rotate this and that's way ridiculous three maybe a four Right there. Does it stick out far enough? Uh, it does. It's maybe one too long, but that's fine. I think we could go to a three. Let's keep it as a four, though. I like the look of that better. Then this guy. Okay. Uh, he needs to go that way and this way and. That way a little bit. Okay. Move it. Um. Not exactly what I wanted to do. Okay, that's fine. Resize it. There we go. Um. We gotta change them all to rotary. Actually, is it just those two to rotary? Activate. So, for the server motor to work, we need to activate. Oh, link it to the battery. Oh, okay. Let's see. The positive to the negative, and the negative to the positive. Kidding. All right. No. No, no. Oh, wait. What? That's it? I didn't have to connect both sides. Okay. I'll... Whatever. We need to assign forward and reverse keys. Okay. R. F. Okay. Whatever. Whoa. Whoa. Yay. We did it. Okay. Change the cylinder's material. Press 2 to activate the material tool. Hold Q to open the menu. Okay. Gold! Everybody likes gold. Okay. Oh. Oh! It did, did it actually change? So it changed the physical. So what would be heavier than gold? Very rusty steel? Don't know. I don't think so, but let's do it anyway. Very rusty steel. But that's cool. Okay, so the physical weight of the part changes with the material. That's good to know. Wood planks. Boom! <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, painter tool. Press 4. Hold Q to choose a color. You can paint the individual tiles. Oh, okay. Fancy. Okay. A little, a little glitchy, but okay. Very cool. Final step. Let's practice everything we learned. See if you can fix this buggy and make it drivable. Nice. Let's do it. Um. Freeze. There we go. All right. Does this have an inner and outer? No. Pop that bad boy on there and then change that. Okay. So, are these just like, do they need bolts on there? 
It's actually this this one's actually fixed. But I want that to be like that, right? Okay. Let's put the the knobbies on the back. Of course. Okay. I'm gonna have to go find those parts. They actually need to be fixed to the axle, right? They would. They'd have to be fixed to the axle. Because if they spun free, then they wouldn't move. Now, this is a locked diff, so one would need to spin free. Um, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm overthinking it for right now. We, we'll get there. No. Okay, so it's going to be really slow, <laughs> but it's going to work. Um, how do we just fix this to this? Is that good enough for the seat? Okay. That looks pretty good. Wait, wait, wait. I can't tell where it's lined up at right there it's linked to this and that's linked like do I still have to toggle these on okay oh how do I set it to return to zero oh that's really bad I can't get it to go slow enough. Oh my word. Oh, this thing's going to take off. Well, let's park it up against here. Oh, please stay. Okay. Stay long enough for me to fix this. Let's look at the settings. Maybe there's something else. Key activation only when seated. The auto brake did nothing. Oh, we don't want key activation. We that's we don't want it to always go. The same with the steering. We don't want the steering to always go. Let's just put this back down to ten. And yeah, now it's now it's great. Now it centers. It's that keys activation. Oh, you see how it goes. I'm hitting the gas and it's just going straight. So here's my theory on that. Remember I was talking about, well, if they're both free wheels, it's just gonna go straight when it's driving these wheels. So let's try it out. Watch, if we open diff this one, this is the only powered one. And now it should be able to turn. Uh, oh wait, is it frozen? It's frozen. Okay, so I get it now. It's, it's all intersecting with the ground. So we need to pick up the whole thing. So we need to control A. And then pick up the whole thing and then unfreeze it. Okay, then we jump in it. See how we can turn now when I hit the gas? Because it's open diff. But that means that there's only power going to the one wheel on the back. Oh, okay. Can I push it over? Oh, there we go. Dude, that's awesome. I'm so happy about that. That's, so, that's really cool. And that... My friends, is that is this game awesome? Okay. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Well, that's the tutorial that took forever. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, next time, I think we'll try and build something. So uh, stay tuned. Check me out. Like, subscribe, and uh, you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Stay healthy. Stay well. We'll see you soon. Goodbye.